Tip number one, use the right needles. Skip stitches on it's often caused by using the wrong needles. The Schmetz ELX overlock system is recommended by most manufacturers for household machines, but do check with your dealer and see what they recommend for your particular machine. Tip number two, make sure that the needles sit all the way up in the slot. If there's just a tiny gap, chances are your stitch will be messed up since the needles will be uneven. Tip number three, lift your presser foot before threading the machine. You need to release the tension disc before you thread the machine and you do that by lifting the presser foot and if you don't, the tension will be messed up and cause all sorts of troubles with the stitches. This is perhaps the, the most common cause of wonky stitches on cover stitch machines. Tip number four, check for lint in the tension disc. Lint and thread that are stuck in the disc will mess up the stitches. Tip number five, place all the threads northwest before sewing. If your threads are all over the place when you begin sewing, chances are high that they will jumble up and cause issues when you're sewing. Tip number six, secure the threads properly. It's very common to have threads unraveling when you're first starting out using the cover stitch machine. And to keep the stitch from unraveling, you need to secure them properly. There are two common ways to do this. Option number one, release the threads and attach them by hand. Lower the needle using the hand wheel until you hear a click. Then lift the needles again by turning the hand wheel in the opposite direction. This will release the threads. Pinch the threads and the fabric between the thumb and your index fingers and then pull northwest. Then you pull the threads on the reverse side using a needle and you secure it by hand. Option number two, secure the threads by using the pull method. This one is a little bit more advanced, so you can try this after you have gotten acquainted by using the cover stitch machine. So the last stitch using a hand wheel and then stop at the highest needle point. Lift the presser foot, then use a crochet hook or tweezers to pull the needle thread towards you. Clip the thread and then here comes the trick. You pull the fabric towards the back swiftly and then to the left. This will pull the needle thread to the reverse side and automatically secure the stitch. You might need to try this a few times on samples before you do it on the real thing. Tip number seven, remove bulk when hemming. A thick seam, well that might mess up the stitches when you're hemming. So remove the bulk by clipping the seam allowance and fold it in opposite directions before you start hemming. Tip number eight, try adjusting the presser foot pressure. In some instances, lowering or increasing the presser foot pressure can also help with skipped stitches. Tip number nine, sew with confidence. Don't stop and start all the time, because every time you stop to check something, there's a risk that the next time the needle hit the fabrics, there might be something off. Tip number 10, start and end with fabric scraps when you're sewing on the flat. This will eliminate the risk for messed up stitching in the beginning of the seam and also, of course, in the end. So that was my top 10 tips for troubleshooting cover stitching. Now, if you tried all these things and your machine is still not performing the way it should, well, I think it's time to take your machine to the vendor or the repair mechanic that knows about cover stitch machine and see what can be wrong with your machine. Also, some machines, well, they are simply better than other ones, but, you know, it's also a budget thing. Uh, those good ones can be quite expensive, so some of us has to make do with less pricey cover stitch machine, and they might not perform as well. But even for those machines, I have also done a blog post on my blog, thelaststitch.com, which I have compiled loads of tips both from experts, and where I also share my own tips on how to improve your stitching, even if you have a budget cover stitch machine. And also, well, I've done several videos about cover stitching apart from this one. So, well, the links will be down below. Please check that out as well. And if you want to see more videos from me, well, please hit subscribe. Stitch safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.